Well, good morning. Happy Thursday, May 11th. This is Lock, New York. Well, I'm kind of right on the line between two little municipalities. But anyways, we'll call it Lock, New York. That's where the P.O. box is anyways. And this is the property currently where I'm parked. Yep, we came up from the old shady side, Maryland. All the way up to Lock, New York. Trailered it up here. So yeah, kind of like a one of those maiden voyage type of trips. Yep. Happy to be doing it. Thankful and grateful. Yeah, so yeah, there she goes. Yeah, I got the on and out, did clean that. So I'm still cleaning and sorting out. Uh, I did get one of the solar panels mounted up on the roof. I'll give an update. Once I get all the, uh, the um, leads in to hook it up to the so 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 uh, solar charge controller. But anyways, yeah, this is the rig. This is the rig. There's that door on the side, the utility door on the side. Yeah, I put another one right there too. So there's another, that's another access door right there. I'm gonna have a gas uh, uh, mounted here. So I'll pull the grill out of here. And there's a water connection behind that wall as well. But that kind of like what there it goes. So that's one of those doors I did mount. And again, the frame one was all existing. I just had to cut out the plywood. And there goes as far as the propane, the original propane uh, for this. Again, this is a 1993. Uh, there's a little bubble leak and, uh, you know, again, kind of sketchy. So again, what I did is I tied in right up in the top there. You see that gas line going up through there, through that wall, comes out. And now down below, there's two huge tanks that are mounted now that's going to supply uh i haven't tried the furnace yet propane furnace uh but again propane always generates a lot of condensation inside of a, of a camper unit so i've been using electric heat uh during the evening time but this propane is now hooked up to the main supply system so those are two i think those are 40 pound tanks i know they're heavy uh when i get them filled and this little tank right here is going to be hooked up and then i'll, I'll, I'll run a line uh, down there so when i pull out my little uh 22 inch uh what is it uh, brickstone and again the old system that's the old system right there 1993 technology so again kind of upgraded everything but again this is the maiden voyage i know it's been a little while but uh, i've been in kind of a menopause stage of life been on vacation since the first of january just to hope craziness and you know, I didn't want to be involved with uh, working anymore I couldn't see myself working retail or um, I'll work part-time gig somewhere another storage compartment there everything's being cleaned out and again that's a storage container there I'll have all the petroleum tiki torch oil uh, back door the deck area still working on getting some steps I'll give you a tour of the inside as well once I get things kind of organized because I'm just still organizing. So the next step on the minimalistic downsizing and, you know, releasing those chains that bind us to, a, uh, I call it the lifetime of slavery, you know, for, you know, your mortgage payment, your car payment and everything else. And again, I've already raised my children. I'm being blessed with grandchildren as well. So again, needs and wants are all different for everybody else, but this is all started that, uh, homeless uh, living you know just traveling about living my dream all righty thank you folks and have yourself a great day god bless america